If you've seen the headlines over the last couple of weeks, you'll know uh, that it hasn't been a terribly great period for stock markets here in Australia uh, or around the world uh, more broadly. Uh, whatever the reason today, look, it'll be different tomorrow. Uh, Trump and his trade wars, US interest rates, midterms, you know, there's, there's always a different reason for it. Uh, I'm very proud to say, though, that I haven't had any clients call in a panic um, in the last couple of weeks, just as I didn't earlier in the year when we saw, uh, saw markets drop. I do understand though, just because you're not calling, um, you might still be a little bit worried. So what I wanted to do was to share a few graphs of the US uh, stock market in particular, uh, to just put into perspective the last um, couple of weeks movements versus uh, what the US stock market has done over the last few years. So these graphs are taken from Bloomberg uh, to the close of trade on Friday, uh, the 27th of October in the US. The first one here is the Dow Jones for the last three days. And as you can see, it's clearly down from the high point that we saw a little while back. The US is down on the Dow Jones a, a little under 8%. The next one uh, is the same, the Dow Jones for the last month. And you can see clearly still down. Uh, for the last six months though, we're starting to see some positive signs. So the US is actually up about 6% from where it was six months ago. Uh, for the uh, last 12 months, you'll see well and truly up. Uh, and then if we go back even further than that, uh, for the last five years, absolutely well and truly up, even to the close of business on Friday, allowing for the last uh, drop that we saw in markets, the US is up something like 60% over that period. So I'd encourage you to keep watching the news, but please just try and block out some of the noise that's around the outside. And remember, uh, through events like the last fortnight, there's really only three ways to, to lose money. Uh, that one is if you panic and sell, one is if that you're forced to sell and so you're not set up uh, appropriately, and three, uh, you lack diversification, either an over-concentration in one particular asset or one particular area of the market. Uh, pleased to say none of my clients uh, really uh, fall into any of those three categories. Thanks for watching and as always if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to give me a call. Talk to you soon. Thanks.